Okay, so we get to verse 27 all the way through 66. And we're going to look at the suffering and the death of Jesus. Now, Matthew and the other gospel writers, um, they recorded the historical facts about the Lord's suffering and death, while the New Testament epistles explain the theological meaning of this event. History states that Christ died but theology explains Christ died for our sin, 1 Corinthians 15, 3. Now, let's consider the various kinds of suffering that Jesus endured that day. Verse 27 through 30 says, He was mocked by the soldiers. The official indictment against Jesus was that he claimed to be the king of the Jews. The soldiers took this innocent prisoner who had already been scourged and disrobed, dressed him in um, what is believed to be an old soldier's cloak, and uh, now can you, can you imagine how it felt to have this robe thrown on a bleeding body? And a king must have a crown. So the soldiers put thorny twigs together and pushed it down on his head. They gave him a reed as a scepter, and they bowed before him, hailing him the king of the Jews. And they repeated this homage over and over, not realizing the one they were mocking was the king of kings and the lord of lords. They also did something no subject would ever do to his king. They spit on him. Now, while some of the soldiers were bowing before him, some of the others were hitting him on the head, and spitting on him. Isaiah 50, verse 6. And Jesus took all of this hum humiliation and pain without speaking or fighting back. 1 Peter 2, verses 18 and those following. His submission wasn't a sign of weakness. It was a sign of strength. 